So I want to put some kind of switchy stuff. Where do I put it? Maybe, maybe over here somewhere. Yeah, if I put everything up here, I can reach it easily. Maybe it's hanging down a little bit. And kids won't be able to get it. Yeah, some more over here. Maybe in the middle? Yeah, maybe in the middle of the building. Because this thing's going to have to travel the whole way. And the wire's going to have to reach all the way down. So if I put it in the middle, it won't have to be as long. Well, that's good thinking, Jamie. All right, then, yeah, I can just, hopefully I have some kind of piece of fiberglass or something I can just put right here and have all the wires come down to it, have the switches and everything right there. Okay. Oh, you know what? I can steal another piece of this thing. That's a nice piece of fiberglass. You make a bunch of connections on that. All right. That should have plenty of space for all my connections and everything. And if I go over here, I don't need that right now. Okay, I've got a bucket of copper stuff. Should be able to find some good connectier junk in here. All right. What am I doing here? Uh, let's make it about that big. Yeah. Good size, I guess. I don't know. Make a quick stop to make a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alright, here's it. Alright, back to this thing. 
Okay. Not bad. Well, I still need a couple of switches here, and I might want to split these so I can have them either connected or not connected. But that's details I can worry about later. Right now, the next thing I need is the connectors coming off the solar panels that connect to these. So that's just going to be a bunch of copper pieces that I can clamp onto the end of wires and then drill holes into them. And my wires are not long enough, so I'll need wire extensions as well. All right, 12 of these. Oh, how big? Yes, black <laughs> tube varasha. <laughs> yep, yeah, he awoke the army of the dead. I want to make sure these have good copper exposed inside so the wires have good contact. Good. Found some 10 gauge wire in my wire pile. Uh, might be enough. Two different colors of wire nuts. I think I'm just going to wire nut the wires together. Uh, some other junk. Checked with my little voltage meter, my multimeter. The wires on this side toward the ocean are all the positives. So I'll make those red wires. And I'll use red connectors. Oh, sounds reasonable. Got some pretty tough plastic on it. Maybe it's just that I'm pulling out such a big piece at once. A lot of friction. Alright. Smush that guy. All right. Oh, I might rest this against something. What's up? I'm Oh, you want some cocoa plums, dude? Okay, wire number one. I don't know which which one I want to put this on. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll put them in order.
think I'll have to leave a little wrench up here. Mm. All right, that's all six connected. That should make a pretty good spark if I do this. Yeah, sounds about right. Mm, not the prettiest wiring job, but it's all well above my head. So, I yeah, won't worry about it. Okay, that's not really the right wire for this motor. However, you know, work for a quick little test to make sure I put everything together right. I also have the sun in a bad position and it's partly cloudy. And I need to clean off these solar panels. Man, they're filthy. Anyway, it should still have enough power to turn the motor around anyway. Okay, let's see what we got here. Since I put the motor on this thing, it rolls so much nicer. Because before it didn't have that much weight, and then you know the frame isn't that heavy, so it kind of came off the track easily. But now it has, now with all that extra weight, it doesn't feel like it's going to come off at all. All right, what else do I need to do here? Uh, clean the solar panels because they're filthy. Make some actual two switches here to turn things on, you know, as opposed to just like taking some wires and jamming them on. Obviously that's no good. Just make some nice sparks though. Okay, so clean the solar panels, do the switches, and oh yeah, get the, you know, find an appropriate wire for this. Uh, I have, this is too short and probably also not thick enough. I have a big pile of wires in my house, so I should have something. Probably. Whoa, nice. Now he's a robo-dinosaur. Ah. 